Hey there guys, it's Anthony here from Cutting Edge Guitar. In today's lesson, I'm going to be showing you some legato guitar exercises. Let's get right into it. Okay guys, let's get right into it with these lessons. At the end of the video, there's loads more information about where you can learn loads more of this sort of thing, so stay tuned to the end. Please do give the video a like, share, and subscribe so that you get more of these when they come out. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you, first things first, these are going to be 16th note based exercises. I think a lot of the time with legato guitar, um, exercises that people want to do they tr they tend to see a lot of these groups of six this sort of thing that's mainly because if you're using three notes per string scale forms it's very easy to play groups of six you know or triplets whichever way you want to look at it but anyway yeah because we're playing three notes on a string things tend to fall into this group of six thing going on all the time so playing 16th notes actually really helps with sounding really smooth obviously i don't have a metronome ticking away or a drum machine but hopefully you can hear that's that's going dagger, 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 that sort of thing so a couple of exercises that you can do to smooth this out right in the beginning how about doing something like this So with that, we're putting a lot of focus on hammers and pull-offs. So as we have discussed, well, I've discussed in other videos, make sure you check out other things on my channel to see about what I'm doing with the legato technique, hammer-ons and pull-offs, slides, that sort of thing. With this first exercise, what I'm doing is I'm basically doing a pull-off from the eighth fret on the high E string down to the seven, down to the five. That's the first part of this exercise. Then going immediately to the B string with the fourth and third finger doing eight, pull off to seven, hammer back on to the eighth fret. Now with that you've got to be working on the independence between the each finger, but also it's looking at string crossing and all that stuff, so it makes a really good cyclical exercise for you to practice. As I'm doing that sort of thing as well, I'm trying to keep um, strings muted and clean sounding by stubbing up to adjacent strings, and I'm also using my plectrum in a particular way. Once I play that first note with a downstroke, I then hook my pick underneath the B string to keep everything quiet. Then when I go to the B string to play the notes up there, I'm just glancing my pick off of the string to get it ringing. So that one's a really, really cool exercise to try. Another exercise that you could do, so with this one I was playing, or I was using three notes on the top or the higher string, and two notes on the bottom string. What you would want to do as another exercise, you can flip that around, so you've got two notes on the higher string and three notes on the bottom string. So in this particular case, this part of the neck that I'm using, I would go 7-5 on the high E, and then go 8-7-5 on the B. Hammers to cycle. And that's another really cool exercise. Okay, so the focus with those particular exercises, we're using fingers one, oh, I can't even do that, one, three, and four, okay? You might be thinking, well, how, how would I do that with other fingers and all the rest of it? Well, what you'd want to do is, if you know the scale that those exercises are coming from, which I'm using a Dorian, if, you're, if you know that scale, you can play those exercises in lots of different positions, lots of different string sets, all the rest of it to work on lots of different fingers and all that sort of thing. Now, if these kind of exercises excite you and this is the sort of thing that you are keen to be practicing, these are the first two exercises that I've put into my members area on Cutting Edge Guitar. So if you go to the members area there is a 10 day free trial where you can check out well in the first lesson there's 10 exercises similar to this but then in the subsequent lessons I'm moving those exercises all around the neck so that you've got loads of different ways to practice them 
in this month's additional, because I'm adding different lessons every month to the members area, I've just added a whole workout that you play to a backing track using those exercises. And in the months going forward, I will be adding loads more content like this to that members area. So come and check that out. Also, if uh, a members area watching videos and all that sort of thing is not you and you like things a bit more old school, check out the High Intensity Guitar Technique series that is also available on my website, the Cutting Edge Guitar website, that you can um, download the PDFs of those books with Guitar Pro and PDF tab files and all that sort of thing. If that's, uh, if you prefer a uh, hardback copy or paper, you know, paperback copy, an actual physical book. All of those are available at Amazon, so you can check those out there. As I say, if you like those first two exercises and that's enough to keep you busy, work away with those. And if you want to see more lessons like this, do make sure you subscribe to the channel. Okay, guys, you take care for now. Uh, if you've got any questions or anything, drop me a line in the comments and I'll see you in the next lesson.